know, there's like some people, I'm going to take a power stance to, yes. does that feel good to everyone or does this feel bad? Yes. Does this make anyone mad? Okay, cool. Um, you know how some people have certain types of faces? Like, uh, you know, um, like for example, Gwyneth Paltrow, happy, healthy, life is great face. Um, Ryan Gosling, sexy, broody face. Do we agree so far? Okay. Um, who's another person? Megan Fox, I'm constantly judging you right now and forever face. Um, Steve Buscemi, endearingly creepy, but definitively. Thank you for the comment. I'm sure Steve would have appreciated that. Um, and then, uh, Seth Rogen, I am not threatening to you in any way. <laughs> um, but these labels that we put on faces, um, they're easy to agree on, but they're not always true, you know? Do you know? <laughs> um, like, for example, Gwyneth, like, had a real druggy face when she was in her 20s. Were we aware of this? I'm not saying in a judgmental way. I'm just saying she was careless. She was not happy and healthy. <laughs> um, but what second person that I said was right now, was like, uh, sexy broody, but he is such a silly billy. Wait, really? I don't know him personally, but I've seen him on Coded several times, and every time I'm like, you are such a silly delight. Um, Megan Fox, I'm actually pretty sure that it's true. That's an exception. Um, Steve Buscemi, I have never heard someone make an accusation against Steve Buscemi for doing weird stuff, but I did fact check this. S but if someone did say, Steve Buscemi did this weird thing to me, everyone would be like, yeah, that makes total sense. But he hasn't, as far as I know right now, having Googled him over three years ago. <laughs> Um, Seth Rogen also feel like he, inside of his brain, is like, I'm not threatening. And everyone's like, yes, we agree, you're not threatening. <laughs> so, I also have a face. Um, and I get similar reviews on my face, all centered around the general concept. Innocent baby face. Una, you have the face of an infant. Your skin is that of an infant. You are innocent. I've gotten that on several occasions and still continue to. Um, and because my mom was, uh, apparently people thought she was 23 until she was 39. I'm in this for the long haul. If I look too relaxed in any circumstance, people are like, that girl's innocent. Um, so when I was younger, because I had innocent face, I was an easy target. So I got slightly bullied. Don't awe me. If anyone awes me, I will make a show of you. <laughs> Don't have empathy for me. So I quickly thought to myself, quickly thought. It came in an instant. <laughs> so my thoughts do. Um, I thought to myself, I have to figure a way out of this. <clears throat> and so my solution was, I will be cool. Uh, despite the fact that I was horribly shy to the point to where I had multiple people in my life that were like, Oh no, are you on mute? <laughs> so I figured out the secret to being cool was I would get really good at playing drums, which I did, not to brag. <laughs> um, and the second thing that I 
would change my resting facial expression to uh, brooding cool, is what I call it. I modeled it after the older skater boys and realized that because I was perceived to be a young girl, people were like, oh, she has a resting bitch face. Oh, cool. This is a fucking double standard. Because no one said to any of those skater boys, you have resting bitch faces. They were just like, oh, those boys are cool. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, wow, that was... That was a statement. That was a punctuation. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but then what happened as a result of that years d down the line... I had to swallow. <laughs> what happened years down the line was that I had about six or seven friends come up to me later in our friendship after they felt comfortable and say, you know, Luna, before we were friends, I uh, thought you were a huge bitch. But <laughs> then we started talking and you're actually really cool. I was like, oh, ha, 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 that's so weird and so out of place. And then by the seventh person, I was like, okay, time to change my face. <laughs> so I took my resting bitch face uh, defense mechanism and I said, am I willing to go back to innocent face? to reconcile with like innocent face and then there's the actual am I innocent and the answer was no and also yes in this way that no because I had done plenty of dumb shit with my body and uh, substances don't tell my parents um, but yes in the way that I innocent like a 72 year old person is innocent like that they have done things they like had their hooligan days but they grew out of it and they unplugged from the world around them and they were just like I'm just gonna live what's with all this wanting Take a simulated tea. 